Hey everyone, Michael here. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Bitcoin is currently down about 2%. Uh, COVID still has me down, so uh, I'm going to try to make this a little bit of a quicker video for you guys. So we know we have the head and shoulders playing out right now, and we know we're trying to break down below this 2 to 1 gain frame line. You can see it was a solid level of support <coughs> back here. It was a little bit of resistance for us, and right now we're just breaking down, or we're getting rejected, excuse me, from this trend line right here. And that's fine, guys. I'm not too concerned. I know if you guys bought over the last few days, you guys might be losing a little bit of money as far as altcoins are concerned. I'm still holding my positions that I've accumulated over here. Um, I'm going to probably hold on to them a little bit longer. I shaved off maybe like 25% up here, but not really much. Um, <clears throat> if you guys are looking to buy back into crypto or if you guys have some money you guys want to be looking at, I would personally wait until either we hit this uh, 3 to 1 GAN fan line right here as support. That's going to be around like, you know, $41,000 or so. Or I'd wait until we actually break out above this Fibonacci level. If we can break above this Fibonacci level and hold, and I mean on the daily candle, that'd be a great opportunity for you guys to be buying in because by then we should be able to break above the 200 moving average on the four hour chart. And that'll give us a good opportunity to at least get back up to $48,000 or so. But right now, guys, before we can even think about any of that, we have to stay above this $39,600 level. This level is the neckline of this entire head and shoulders pattern. If this falls, you know, then we have a good opportunity of heading back down here towards $37,000, $36,000 and maybe bouncing off of the 4 to 1 gain frame line. Maybe bouncing off of that one. Because uh, <clears throat> there's going to be a lot of force bringing us down at that point because you're going to see a lot of shorts pile on, pile on, pile on. And that could be another really bad, uh, bad, uh, bad month for crypto. But until then, let's see if we can hold over $39,600. let us see if we can hold over this gain frame line. I still think it's a decent opportunity if you wanted to be nibbling into some of these, um, some of these uh, coins. My, you know, the way I would do it is I wouldn't be buying everything in bulk. I told you guys this over the last past few weeks. If you guys are buying anywhere around here, I would just buy a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow, a little bit the next day, a little bit the day after that. Or, you know, you can split up however you want to, a little bit every week, a little bit every other day, whatever. You guys can make that choice yourself. But right now, I'm looking to see if, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if we can decide to break out. And if you guys were watching the 24 hour stream, you guys would have known to sell some of your coins. You guys didn't have to sell all of them, but sell some of your coins because of that. There was that clear breakdown right there, right? And we also talked about usually when it goes right through it, usually it actually ends up being a bearish move. And what do you know? It ended up being a bearish move here. So be careful, guys. Your next level of support over the next few minutes is just going to be right here at about 41,720 somewhere around there so if you guys want to do it maybe a day trade or something and play a bounce that's going to be where it's at you can actually see a little bit of support right here in the past a little bit of support right here a little bit of resistance stuff like that so there was an opportunity if you wanted to take it i'm looking for a larger move here so i'm going to be looking to buy around the three to one and i'm going to be looking to buy if we're able to get above this uh, fibonacci level right here thanks everybody and have a fantastic rest of your day Talk to me nice. Talk to me honest.